decent picks throughout the entire shop. Um, considering that, you know, it's really you just can't count on anybody else to do it. Pull the cameras out when things need to be done. So I put that camera up over there just to see how it records for the next few minutes. So what we're doing is we're recording me, recording me, if you can see. That's me recording me. I'm fucking handsome. You know, he is. Anyway. So, it's uh, Sunday morning, uh, day before the uh, favorite Martin Luther King holiday. Um, it was one of those days, I don't fucking know. Uh, could be Christmas for all I know. I've been stuck in this fucking building for so long, it's not even funny. Uh, all the days blend together on here, seven days a week. On any given day, I don't know, between six and eight hours or longer. Um, but lately, my biggest problem around here has been cleaning up the mess I've made uh, out of everything over the last last two years. Uh, it's been like a nightmare in here. I've just been doing jack of all trades stuff. Uh, originally, the building was moved into so we could do uh, the electric pipe and gas bike builds, uh, doing the gas, uh, three wheel bikes, two wheel bikes, and I want up a full bike up there, I'm doing for, uh, uh, any internet, uh, internet props, uh, doing it for, uh, somebody who's, uh, used to be local here, they're uh, working out of a, uh, taxi shop in Philly, uh, they are, got two, the uh, spiderweb build for uh, spiderweb. Um, that's about it. Um, anybody local sees it. Uh, it is the build. I don't want to say the name because sometimes people dodge. I dodge people. I don't want people knowing who I am or where I am or what I'm doing. So I'm not going to say the fellow's name, but uh, you know, an old acquaintance. Uh, about buying one a while back, one of the builds I did, uh, three wheel, uh, or, or gas, I don't know, or electric, either way, he acquired, and, you know, my prices are insane, uh, not crazy, any insane, um, I'm a little insane with my prices only because I built my ship the last, and I'll uh, be ridden constantly, you know what I mean, uh, guys aren't familiar with any of the builds, you can check me out, and, uh, Gas Bike 732, or Joby Bikes on Facebook. Uh, there's a ton of pictures there. Uh, there's a few on Instagram. 99.9999.99% um, of all the pictures on any of those things of any of the bike builds are mine. Um, I don't post other people's shit, and if I do, I say it's, you know, somebody else's stuff, but it's, you know, like a shout, but, uh, there's probably, probably videos going to get dropped for copyright, because I got music in the background going on, but, you know, that's where we're at, uh, started out in here at the bike shop, bicycle shop, building custom three-wheel bikes, and, you know, gas bikes, and now there's a ton of people doing it locally, uh, you know, they have way more money than I do, so, like, I'm, Spending the last two years uh, scrambling around trying to make the money to try and keep the place afloat doing the bikes, but that's just not really where it's going to happen because the bikes are just so seasonal. Um, you know, I'm building the overhead in particular. Uh, you know, the overhead is so bad, but when you want to build bikes and have them in stock, it's horrible. A decent bike frame to put one on, you're looking at, you know, a couple hundred bucks. I mean, this is for a bike that you're going to ride either every day or a bike that you want to show off. You're looking at a minimum of 200 for the, for the bike after the bike is built. Uh, and that's a two wheel bike. A three wheel bike, you're looking at, depending on the style and durability, you're looking at between, you know, three and seven. And then you've got to add on, you know, the, the, the adapt parts. 
guys will be electric. Now the motor is going to be another two and the installation is going to be another two on top of that seven. So you're looking at a little bit, you know, and that's for, that's for a halfway decent build. Uh, that's for a build that you can ride every day. It's not going to break down on you that I'll warranty that there won't be any problems with it. Or, you know, the two-wheel electric, you know, which is dependent on speed, desired speed and distance of that trip over shit. Imagine that. Uh, just trip over hitting my head on stuff like I'm hanging around and tripping over stuff. I don't think I'm going to make it out of another year in this place. But, uh, you know, desired overall speed. Like, this was a goof build. This I built with wet acid batteries. This is just a, a Razor scooter that I custom stretched a little bit to fit some more wet acid batteries in it. It's got a 1,000 watt brush controller, a 250 watt brush motor. But it's got uh, gear reduction, so it can take, you know, it can haul all the weight and a person, you know, probably up a, a pretty steep incline without, without even spraying. Uh, I had those batteries on that motor with that controller, uh, about three quarter charged, and I was doing about 18, between 15 and 18 miles an hour, maybe 20 tops. I don't know. I wasn't, I didn't have a GPS on. Um, and that's it. It's a solid axle rear, so when I would turn, of course, it would uh, drain the battery big time. You know, when I had to short turn, tight turn, whatever, solid axle rear, you're always going to be fighting. Uh, each wheel could be fighting. But it was built to be a drift uh, quad, so we can take it out with that drift uh, trike over there, which you've seen before. Uh, we have another one here we're going to do, and another one there we're going to do. Um, a lot of stuff going to be for sale. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of stuff hasn't been going on here because I have been just steadily cleaning and trying to set up for the summer. We want to have a bunch of these built, painted, and ready to go for people in the summer. Uh, you want to figure between the COVID and all the bullshit that's going on. I think a lot of people are spending a lot of time out there. Uh, that's summer thing now. It's going to be a homeboy. Homeboy, when I say homeboy, I mean it's going to be a four house kind of summer for a lot of people this year. Uh, money just ain't there. Nobody's working. COVID killed everything and everybody. Let's put it that way. And that leads into a whole bunch of political shit that we don't want to talk about. Nobody wants to know what I think, because if you did, you know, you might not come back again for another view. Because I don't usually care what people have to say. Uh, and that's a problem for me, trying to start a channel in a business. But anyway, um, we got this baby up and running. I got a video that's going around on TikTok. Uh, TikTok, you can check out some of the walkthroughs, maybe the shop. Maybe I'll post some walkthroughs and some stuff. So I'll post some old pictures of some builds. Uh, the TikTok is uh, ground up uh, 2020 on TikTok. There's also a Ground Up 732 on TikTok, but it's not, I haven't used it that much. I forgot I even put that one up. So we weren't getting that much attention on that one, so I wasn't posting. Um, to make a long story short, basically today I just wanted to make this video because I have not been making any videos really about any progress in the build because I have not been building. I have 57 left, seconds left to uh, finish my story here. But basically, what I'm asking is uh, if you guys can help somebody out and uh, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, hit the uh, notification bell, and uh, maybe help me out and keep this ball rolling here because uh, this is it. This is the last shot I got. You know, it's, uh, it's this and or then it's... Uh, I don't know what, if we lift bank rob or possibly, who knows, I don't even know if I can say that on, uh, on here now, the way everybody's getting censored, but me having this shop right here is about the only thing keeping me from running around with the, uh, the cordless uh, Solzol uh, robbing everybody's catalytic converters. Not that I've done that in the past, but that's just something new. Or another way I can go about making the money. So please like, subscribe, share, and everything, so I can help feed my dog. Are you still recording over there? I just wanted to say, hey, you're still going. I don't know if you're going to go 10 minutes or not. But like I said, I just wanted to say, if you were recording what I said on here, I'm going to reiterate the same thing. Please help a brother out. You know, we're a little struggling here. Um, we 
started out. We started out real good the first year. Uh, and then each. Oh, throw my phone at the poor dog. Right, so this is what's been and then each. Each. Each season after we moved in here, I was not ready for it. Something would happen. Either a vehicle would die. And because of lack of funds, I had to search and buy a project vehicle to build. Or, in the end, what would happen is I just wouldn't be prepared because of nothing. Why not? I'm not going to make an excuse. I was just not prepared every season at the beginning of the season. This will be going on the fourth. You can't call it the fourth summer because we didn't move in here till the end of the, uh, the first summer. But this will be the fourth season going into uh, this spring where we got to try and make something work. Otherwise, you know, we're going to be hurting. There's a lot of people. That noise is me opening the door to let the dog out. But in the end, there's a lot of people depending on this place and these projects to actually do good or do something. Um, none of which has been easy. The Samurai was bought thinking I was going to have a little bit of extra money to put into it. So I would have almost like a, a, a drivable billboard for the shop and that fell through. Um, there's just a ton of different things. COVID, COVID killed, you know, you couldn't go out anywhere this summer. We got a couple of custom bikes. They're not in here. They're outside. Uh, a couple of custom bikes we ride around. Three wheel bikes I built. Uh, electric. I mean, one does almost 50 miles an hour. The other one does close to, you know, 25, 30-ish. I know they're just ones that I built just for us, just for a shop, just to play around in. I mean, we build crazy stuff. Um, I can build anything you want, custom bicycle-wise. Uh, and that's it. You know, the shop is the shop. I want to build stuff, make videos, show some people how to do some things. And just try and survive like everybody else. All I need to be able to do that is for some of you people just to push a couple of buttons on there and click a couple of times. Um, I don't know whether you guys believe that I can build certain things, but I mean, here's here's a full build. I apologize, my shoddy camera work. See, that's why we're not a we're not taking off here very well. But I built this. built this. This is part of what I build. This is the strip track here. I have some other stuff outside of here that I'll show you real quick. That's the Samurai. I don't know how good the camera's angling because I have it on a different thing and the sun's out. And then back here I have some more bikes. Uh, this drift, this big three-wheel trike right here, I have it covered with plastic because shit has to go outside sometimes. But uh, there's a black three-wheel bike back there that's electric. There's a gas one back here that I got done up like a, trying to trying to get her together like a uh, 1909, you know, uh, board track racer. And I got another frame there. There's a ton of stuff in the back. Uh, I mean, in all reality, there's the boss, Miss Underfoot. Little Miss Underfoot, we call her. But all I'm saying is if you guys could please share... Uh, share some of my videos, check out the TikTok videos, and you could see uh, the first fire and drive video of the drift trike. I mean, there's a lot of people that are interested in the drift trikes. I mean, I made the exhaust custom. It's got a carburetor on there that's not of this uh, world for this bike. That is a uh, West Coast Choppers gas tank that I made a turn into a real gas tank. That's a pit bike fork. Uh, I believe 125 or so. Um, you know, we just got some crazy stuff going on in here that I want to make work and I want to show people that, uh, you know, this stuff isn't that hard to do if you can just give it a shot. And it's just project after project in here. Um, I don't know, maybe you guys, like I said, please hit a button, hit a like button, hit a, hit a, hit a share button, hit a I hate you button. Don't be looking up my nose, man. I don't know what's in there. Just saying. Um... Lots of talking going on, me showing nobody nothing. But what we do have in here is a full shop. You know, we got uh, we got a TIG welder, plasma cutter, MIG welders. I have a aluminum spool gun for a Miller welder. Um, 
you know, we got enough stuff to do in here to really entertain everybody. Um, the samurai project I got going on, there's a ton of stuff going on in here for that. I mean, you know, these things, I got some tractors out there. I got some old tractors out there to wait till you see what the, I, I'm going to think about doing with it. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of other shit going on. Uh, I don't want to say anything on the first video because, you know, I don't want to, I don't want people to, to get a bad first impression. But just for example, like, what's going on with these guys in this cage, in these cages up here, man? What's up with these guys in these cages? Seriously. And what is this guy doing down here? It looks like he's tugging on his something. I don't know. I gotta go. This place is crazy. I gotta go. But that's it. Uh, please like, subscribe, share. Uh, anything you can do to help out. Um, especially if you uh, make a comment. If you like, subscribe, share, make a comment. Um, we have a Patreon channel. If you do some of that, like, and sharing and stuff, we got some behind-the-scenes footage of uh, some other stuff of Patreon. It's not fully set up yet because I don't think people want to watch me anyway. But if I get to the point where I think it might be worth doing for us to get some things moving, I will get some things moving. Uh, also, like I was saying, if you do a like, subscribe, share kind of routine, and yes, I am missing quite a few teeth. That's a whole nother story. Uh, no, it's not from drugs. I wish it was. I might have had some fun, I guess, losing them. But anyway, all I'm saying is there's a little weird stuff going on in here. You guys can check us out. Uh, leave some comments. I'd appreciate it. It's me, a, uh, an old boss friend of mine, and a few old acquaintances that come in here every day. I mean, we're in here every day to make no money. It's awesome. They watch me do stuff and catch myself on fire. You know, I, I, you know, we missed it. We missed it. We missed it. That's why I was trying to set this camera up a certain way because I have done some crazy stuff on camera. Like I've almost cut a finger or four off. I've almost cut my hand off. I've lit myself on fire. I've crashed a few times. I uh, tell a lot of bad jokes. Um, you know, other than that, please. Please, please, please. And I know it sounds horrible when you're begging like, please, please, please. But I'm only saying, because here I am, guys. We've been doing this stuff for going on the fourth year now. I have a partner. I have a wife. I have friends that have helped out and a ton of other people. And uh, they're all struggling because I'm struggling. Uh, and that's it. We'll get into the other topics later on, if you guys decide to follow. So follow.